best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. Been speaking to many involved in the Irish community, in the Irish community in London and the South East. I've got a, a gentleman who is the chair of the Irish Elderly Advice uh, Network, a native of County Mead. I'm delighted to say hello to uh, Tom Wheeler. Tom, how are you? Lovely, Jerry. Nice to hear from you. Same as that. Uh, uh, tell me this. You, you, you've been involved. I know it's a, it's a busy organisation, the Irish Elderly Advice uh, Network. Now, uh, it, it, your, your latest uh, uh, thing that you're doing was uh, organising uh, a Sunday lunch for some people. Tell me, how did uh, that all come about? Well, actually, it came about by um, the, uh, the governor in the Tlada Ring got in touch with us saying that he was prepared. This was about three weeks ago. Uh, and that he'd be prepared to do maybe about 100 lunches if we had the people in in the area. And so uh, we done our homework, and we done it the first time we done it, we concentrated on Hackney, Islington, and Haringey. And we got some names because we have a, a lunch club attached to St. Thomas More Church up in Manor House. So we got the names, we got a little team together, and uh, the Tlada Ring provided the food they delivered to St. Thomas More, and we had our little team together to take them out to the, to the people. And we got a lovely feedback. So then a friend of mine, um, Pat Slog in the, the Sheep Haven in Camden, he said he would love to maybe try and do maybe about 30 dinners. So we got in touch with the um, Irish Centre and their lunch tub, and we got the names and addresses. And then last Sunday, we provided 30 dinners to the old people, which they really appreciated. And we tried to throw in a little bit of Irish. They all got a little um, a little bag with tater crisp and uh, club orange. Uh, I'm not advertising now. But um, then we thrown in, we have a little book that we published there just before the Christmas, which we were getting a great feed on, feedback on. Nora, our CEO, was involved, Nora Mulready, and it's uh, made the road rise up. Um, and uh, I don't know if you have seen the Irish Wars this week, and the Kenny gave it a great write-up in uh, the centre pages of the Irish world. But, sorry, getting back to the uh, lunches, um, we're hopefully we're going to do it again in another couple of weeks and we are trying to get another few pubs around the area involved and hopefully it will uh, you know it will take off and just there's nothing like a nice hot um sunday lunch and the old people some of them aren't getting out at all and they really appreciate it and well we're getting a good feel uh, factor and they are getting a nice Sunday lunch for themselves so everyone is winning Indeed so, indeed so and I think uh, it, it's uh, fair play and well done to the uh, the pubs that have done it I mean it's uh, it really is keeping uh, uh, you know they're keeping sort of part of the community and it's a great uh, you know they're able to uh, to do this uh, in the tough times that they are having because all of the pubs are not open Exactly Jerry and and um it's it's lovely because all all people do they do get the, everyone that we call to they like to have a little chat for about ten minutes. You can't just walk in and give them their meal and walk away. They haven't seen anybody, and they just it's uh, it's nice for them, you know. Indeed so, indeed so. It's a lovely, a lovely, lovely gesture uh, to do. And uh, uh, one of the people, I believe, who was actually out delivering uh, the, the the dinners uh, last weekend in the snow was uh, Lisa O'Keefe of the, uh, the the Irish punk band Neck. He was one of the people uh, battling it around, uh, delivering the meals. Exactly. Lisa, a very important part of the, the, 
the delivery team and what a lovely guy like you know even on one of his runs um the, the person wasn't in when he called but Leeson didn't forget he went back and he he got that meal delivered like you know so he didn't he didn't take no for an answer Excellent stuff, excellent. So basically, Tom, what, you, you, what you're looking for is, you're looking for any uh, any pubs, uh, any place, or do they have to be at a particular area you're looking for? I'm sure we can we can work out with different Irish um, Irish areas. If any pub would like to come on board to get in touch with us at the Irish Elderly Advice, and then um, we would take it from there, and you know, the more areas in London that we could do, at the moment we are just based in, in North London, but we could also, I'm sure, do do other areas. There's East London, we have a branch as well. And, uh, yeah, it would be very, very uh, interesting if, um, if, some, if some of your pubs or your listeners could... Uh, could get in touch with us. That would be brilliant. Indeed, indeed. And uh, if they, in order to get in touch, they can get in touch with me or they can get in touch with uh, Nora uh, Mulready either. But if they initially want to get in touch with me, then absolutely no problem. Uh, I will, uh, you know, put them in, uh, put them in contact, and uh, you'll get the, the the thing organised. I'll have to say the Irish Elderly Advice Network uh, are a busy. You're a busy bunch. I mean, you've got the uh, uh, the, the choir, you know, and uh, loads of things happening there. Oh, we're we're uh, we're always looking for things to keep us uh, keep us occupied. Like you know, um, we do um, we do a, a big newsletter as well, which uh, oh, it goes out to. We have about six thousand on our mail list, so you know, in various parts of London. So yeah, we feel as if we're we're doing something useful. Indeed, so and I think uh, I think the work the work you're doing, uh, you know, is is also helping to keep people connected and uh, keep people in touch in the difficult times that we're going through at the moment. Of course, Jerry, and even in our last newsletter, we dedicated about four pages to different services that and phone numbers and ways of getting in touch with people for advice or for hospitals and all that kind of thing because a lot of old people they just we know it from our advice center that they just don't know what to do they don't know who to go to and instead of somebody saying to them oh well if you can go to dot com this and all the other of the modern uh, technology what an old person needs is a telephone number and somebody to talk to on the other end. Yes, yes, and uh, you know it's, it's it's good to have all of that. And I think uh, I think possibly you know I've said this before. We're blessed at the moment, luckily enough, to have the technology, so at least people can stay in touch and uh, communicate, even though uh, not face to face. Granted, with the times we've got, but uh, that they're actually able to keep in touch. Yeah, definitely, and we we're, we're even bringing the. We have had so many Zoom meetings, and even next Thursday night we are doing a, a music night on Zoom, which uh, Nora has publicised. That is excellent. Tom, listen, it's been lovely to speak to you. Well done on all you do. And once again, if uh, you're, you, uh, anyone uh, has a pub or uh, is it would be interested in coming on board and uh, supplying those meals, it really would be appreciated by the community. Tom, listen, it's lovely to speak to you. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and continue the good work. Lovely, Jerry. Thank you very much.